What is happening, everybody? Molecular Narwhal here with New Game Wednesday. This time we are playing My World. Uh, New Game Wednesday is a series where we usually do uh, indie game reviews live, but for today and next week it is not live and the last like seven weeks because I am in Alaska, but I will be back in a couple weeks, so we'll get back to doing these live soon. Uh, in the series, I just review uh, games that devs send me the keys for, and that's what we're about to do. Uh, this game is called uh, My World. It's by The Game Creators, real creative dev name. Uh, it's just a, a RPG maker action game. It looks kind of interesting. Um, okay. F11 settings. Quality settings. Okay, so I, I opened this up to just uh, uh, just sound before this, but there were originally some instructions, but that, that doesn't seem like that's the case anymore, which is kind of rough. Now move forward and play, fly forward and edit. Okay, so primary key W, move left, right, back, okay. Roll and play, left control to roll. Drink potion is E. Uh, I'm gonna move that to right alt because I use left alt for my recording stuff. Uh, interact in play, sample terrain color, or edit you or I okay ability one in play object mode and edit primary key one or number one okay so these are to get like new abilities out okay uh, lock onto enemy in play tab okay help in both play and edit f1 okay f1's for help uh, okay, stopwatch there you go uh, settings left shift sprint in play Open, close, log, L, teleport back to the last spawn pad, T, switch between play and edit, return to the hub world and play or world selection, hide user interface, F10, rotate the currently held object in edit, undo the last action, holy cow, increase tool size in it, name world and edit F, okay. oh my god, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things. Uh, so this is my world. I think this is like a hub like we can yeah, okay. We can have people come in here L quest world quest detail, okay uh, C Molecular narwhal difficulty Sure, let's just leave that moonlight level one. I'm a knight valiant knight health stamina damage mana attack Okay, I don't know what's going on F1 help Oh, okay. Quest tracker move. E heal. Use. Okay. F1. Okay. Is it chicken? Hi. Click home when in another world to return back here. Okay, I just clicked T. So this is called My World. It's a game about your world, obviously. Okay, so right is like... Uh-oh. I don't know where I just went. Uh, Hub World, New World, The Blight, Greendale Keep. Let's go to the Mushroom Realm. I don't know what, what's happening here. Are we fighting things? Uh, I have not played very many RPG Maker games. Disclaimer. Dang it. I just drank my drink. Press U to speak. Why would that be the, th the key for that? Cider, we are fresh out. Can you ask what the brewer is playing out? He's outside, I think. Okay. Why is that the key for that? We're fresh outside at the tavern. As a master brewer, it's my job to restock. However, it's getting harder. Enchanted mushrooms are popping up. They love the taste of apples. Could you run down to the orchard and grab me some? Okay. So, we have a quest. Mushroom realm. Quest details. We are fresh outsider at the tavern. As a master brewer, it's my job to restock. However, it's getting harder. Okay, he said that to me. 
So we need to kill two mushroom wars and collect four apples. Did I kill the chicken? Oh god. What's my potion button? I forgot. Rail. This is better than Dark Souls. These guys are so strong. Why are they so strong? Oh my god. I'm dead. What the heck? Okay, those guys are stripped. Man, I'm not ready for that mission yet. Home? Let us go back home. Return to the hub world. Yes, okay, we're not ready for that. We got our butts kicked. Okay. That was interesting. So this is kind of a just... I want... I get the vibe that there's a... Okay, so this is like multiplayer oriented, right? So we can create a new world. I guess that's like we would literally make the level. Join multiplayer, host multiplayer. Okay, I might try that later. Exit. That's probably exiting the literally the game. Settings. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's literally just the menu in the world. They're kind of doing like a Dragon Ball Xenoverse kind of thing. Oh, excuse me. Select character knights. Valiant knight. Undead slayer. Verdurin protector. Holy protector. Buckethead. I guess I'm a Valiant Knight right now. A tank tank damage dealer. I kind of want to do the Undead Slayer. No way. How do I check my... Uh, C is who I am. Oh, look. I can... Uh, oh, so these are moves. Okay. It's got big boys. Got big. So C. So I am a Valiant Knight. Squeaks when you walk. Moonlight. Blighted. So you can just simply turn up your... Your character needs armor. Your character needs a weapon. Okay. Level 1, class knight. How, okay, can I pick one of these other classes? Okay, so this is who I am now. Okay, let's try this dude out. I kind of want, look at that, I kind of want to be one of these people. You know, I'm going to be the Holy Protector. She looks kind of dope, not going to lie. Uh, can I see what these powers are? Okay, I don't have the Mushroom Quest anymore. Continue. My world, where action RPG begins. Creating... Oh, okay, so this is like a tutorial or something? Hub world comp... What is this, like, teleport center? Hello, my name's Dave. I'm the lead developer of My World. And welcome to our tutorials on using My World. So this first one covers what's called the hub world, which is your home. Everything that you can do... Um, you can access from nah, the whole we're not, we're not good. Listen to that. And this is be the place you'll always start. Guides, no. Always Workshop, host, play, session, browse, so, let's have a look no. The middle Create a new world, the, the no. biggest one. We'll try that later. Is where all your worlds, all the games that you can play are stored. Okay, so you literally create it. It's an RPG maker where you make RPG. Yeah. It's a, literally a game where you make games. Oh. Well, okay. All right, whatever. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Not feeling super excited. Okay. Um. Right. Eggs. Let's grab some eggs. Got an egg. Sweet. I don't know what these powers do that I have. Doesn't really tell me. 
Okay, so there's a dude out there. Press you to speak. I can't even get out to collect my chicken eggs. In fear of being set up upon by those nasty skellies. I think they are coming from up that hill. Would you collect some eggs for me and my wife so can eat tonight? Okay. Nice spelling. I have ten eggs already. And I have those many. Uh, those many? I'm collecting eggs just by not even going out right now. That's pretty... Look at this high quality gameplay. There's lots more things to this game, so I mean I'll have to I'll have to look into the other elements of it. I don't know what those powers are doing to, for me. So he can't hit me now, I guess. What is happening? Why can't I? Oh yeah, I need stamina to do that attack, bro. Dude, stamina is a rough thing in this game. Okay, that was great fun for the whole family. Combat's not exactly, I don't know, it doesn't feel very thrilling. It's really clunky. They're trying to make it like Dark Souls clunky. This is a very clunky game to me already. All right. Excellent. Egg. Yeah. Now see if you can find out the source of the undead. Is that a is that a quest? Okay. So do people make these? Wor I what I figure is that in this game you can go to people's custom made worlds and you can make so like. This could be a world somebody made, but I don't think I think this is a world the dev made. So like the dev made like a bunch of worlds as examples, and uh, at, you know so you can have something to do. But here we are. How the f do you, are you supposed to do that? Okay, so that was like, oh, I hit him over the head, okay. So that blocks to my front, huh? Whereas there's another block that blocked all around me. Okay, so that makes me faster, it seems. I love how that's like extremely unclear. There, oh my god. F1. Can I see my, like, uh, hero abilities? I hope maybe there's a way to check out what my hero abilities do, but I don't think so. Uh, what's the menu? Uh, C, right? Yeah, okay. Um, character needs what? So, I mean, I think I can upgrade my weapon eventually, just not right now. Uh, okay. Is this, like, the boss or something? Maybe it's a boss fight. So yeah, I think these are like example worlds. And like, so I think the point of this game is that you make the missions and other people make the missions and then you share them. So we'll, we'll go see what kind of stuff's up there. We'll go see. Maybe this will be fun. Who knows? So far, I'm not enjoying it. The Blight. So this is the origin of the dead, I guess. Okay, so you can play up to four player, it looks like. So four players can spawn in with you. Reinforcements. I've been alone in here for weeks. Finally made it out. The evil is great in there, soldier. Be careful. Was that a mission? No. Pots. I love pots. I played lots of Zelda, alright? Pots are the best. Alright, uh, so we're looking for the reason for the the death or something like that. Ugh, me. It's that ginger ale. I'm drinking ginger ale, okay? Makes you burp really bad. Stamina. 
Oh god, dude. Let's get out of here. Forget that, dude. You can't really- there's like no health in I mean, I guess that's- that's fine. Not all- not all games have a health in here. That's cool. Can't complain too much. They just want it to be difficult, right? Okay, running's a waste. Stamina is valuable in this game, clearly. Getting kind of better at the fights. Mostly ambient music so far in this game. The knockout thing is good. So that makes me faster, I guess. Or boost my stamina or something. It's gone already. Boom. I can't tell how to tell when like you, like if there's a timer on that ability or if it's just like, oh wow, they're really trying to be Dark Soulsy, huh? Why do I have a shield around me? Okay, so it's not limited to one person. That's good to know. God, come on. The, like, directionality in this is rough. I guess you can. I'm not locking on like I should be. Go! <gasps> okay. Cool. Okay, that guy. Oh, I thought he killed himself with me. Okay. You'd open. Uh, Holy Protector Armor of Medium. What? <laughs> Holy Protector Armor of Medium Health. More holes than holy. Uncommon Great Armor. Okay, so it gives me some stuff. Okay, there's so many things, and there's like too many details to look into. Uh, so now I'm stuck, so that's good. Super excited about that. Okay, God. Okay, I really, I really need to lock on them. That, that definitely makes it easier. Now how do I get back up there? Because that guy dropped the treasure chest, that was interesting. This is such a clunky game, is it? The combat in this game is the reason I hate Dark Souls. Like, there's no reason for combat to be clunky like that. I'm, I don't like Dark Souls. Sorry. I'm gonna try to play it again soon, though. Gonna try to give her a chance. Oh, guess I'll teleport back. I, I didn't think that I would teleport to that checkpoint. To be honest. Didn't really get much thought, granted, but... Maybe I'm supposed to, like, roll occasionally? I mean, with the roll button where it's at, I don't know how I ever would. You know what I need to do? Uh... <sighs> Can, is there not a menu? F11. God, who does that? Uh, roll is what I want. To change. I want to change it to the alt button. <sighs> Tell you what, I'm going to change. Drink a potion to this one. Then I'm going to go to roll and I'm going to make it this one because that's easier for me to hit on this keyboard. Actually, I could make it space, since seeing a space doesn't do anything. Does space do anything? No, it doesn't. I'm not change the roll to space. That's way easier to do. I just went to camera mode. Oh, boy. Sometimes. Okay, yeah, that, that's much better. Right there. 
That's much better. That I can do. Ah, screw you guys. Really? Wow. Wow. Die! It's so slow to kill anybody. Oh my god, this combat is so great. What's the point of being a tank if I can't like quickly kill anybody? Oh my gosh, this combat is so slow and clunky. Ugh. Okay, we're, we're gonna, after this level, just go look at the other aspects of this game. Like, how, how am I supposed to kill somebody? I don't have enough stamina, ever, to do anything. I just hit that wall a hundred times. Great. How fun. This game is amazing. What? How? Ugh. Like, I'm trying to lock onto this guy, but it won't, it won't let me, literally. I've hit tabs so many times. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I don't even care. Just let me get to that bonfire, please. Thank you. Oh my god, that is blatantly copying Dark Souls here. Kinda, kinda lame. Where am I trying to go right now? I'm imagining this phantom thing's probably stronger than most of the enemies I've fought at this point, but of course I could be wrong there. Wish I could attack faster than a freaking hoe. Alright, I'm not, not enjoying the con- it's literally terrible. Okay, let's just go home. Nope. Nope. This might be a short one, too. Alright, let's look into uh, the other stuff, because... Okay, let's, let's just check out one more world. New world. This would be like my world, though, wouldn't it? My first, w oh, okay, nope. Yeah. And what was the other thing, it was create a world? I don't know, we're gonna go check real quick though. Not a big fan, gotta tell you. Hub, oh, okay. Home, yes. Oh my gosh, it's so slow in between things. I don't know how much, like I don't know much about RPG Maker, I don't know how much the game makers have control over what actually happens. Uh, okay, so try to create a new world. See what we can do. See what we can do. Alright, world 002. Oh my god. Uh, piggies. I saw piggies. We're gonna make pigs in here. Okay. Okay, press. Oh. Okay, name world. Send to workshop. Help guides. Nope. Not what I wanted. Also not what I wanted. Uh, so these are some blocks. These are some paint brushes. Some terrain. This is what RPG Maker looks like for like the people who do RPG Maker. 
Mountains. Okay, so we're gonna take. No, you scared the terrain. Let's make a building. Uh. Holy cow. Yes, yeah, so this is literally you make a level. Okay, let's let's make a small house. Okay, so this is like way zoomed out at this point. Boom, house. Uh, can I change the terrain, like the snow? Nature. Red waypoint marker, blue waypoint marker, yellow waypoint marker. What does a waypoint marker do? Okay. So this is literally a scenario maker game. Alright, let's uh... Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, I don't. I'm not gonna make a, a whole level on. Uh, oh, okay. I'm not gonna probably make a whole level on here to be honest. Not gonna lie. So, I mean, like whatever. <laughs> okay, okay. It's basically like a. Uh, Minecraft sort of thing, I guess. Let's see. Now I'm a little more intrigued now. I'm trying to... Like, no, I don't want help, guys. I don't want, I don't want help. Uh, hill spiral. Boom. And then at the top of it, we're going to put a dragon. Why is it the control... Even in here, the controls are clunky. This tells me the controls are clunky. What? What? In the F? Why can't I go anywhere else? Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. Enemies, bosses. Okay. Well, those aren't very fun. Ugh, they're all humanoid. That's no fun. Orc Wraith. These are stupid. I was expecting it to be monsters. There's not very much variety in here. I mean, I guess it's early access still, but I mean, geez. Themes. Ice planes. There, it's just all became ice planes. Nice. Um, terrain. Pathway plateaus. Uh, we can put portals for whatever reason. Oh, so you can do like verses and stuff. Collectibles. Okay. So we can set collectibles in the world. We can make some foliage. We can make some rocks. Uh, this might be something I, I could try to do some, at some point in my life. But I don't know. I'd have to see something that would make this game feel worth like playing at all. These are like those maze walls, huh? Buildings. Let's make an abbey. Let's make a thatch tavern. Uh, let's see. Wall fixture. Okay, so we can decorate actually in the houses. Uh, small items, big items. They're all like stuff you can break. There's a plinth. There you go. Lights. Some nice people. Put some more pigs down, obviously. Can we, like... Is there, way? Yeah, there you go. Shift click. Okay. Alright. I'll put one more. And we're going to grab this mountain. How do I pick that up? Press P to pick the height to use.
Click to use the choose chosen high or whoa. Okay. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what? What? I'm so confused. <laughs> Uh, what is happening in this game? What? How do I get like an in-between point? Like, God. <sighs> Boom, amazing looking. All right. What a great world. It's so clunky, like, period. Like, this game just... It just clunks around. Clunks all over your butt. Why is there intense music? Hi, piggies. Okay, I'm gonna go find that boss guy. Look at all the piggies. It's like a pig house. It's a pig sty around here. They better run from me. Okay, nice pumpkin. Can I do something here? I look like it. Okay. I don't know, guys. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on in this game? What's the point? It's. A I mean, I get the point. But RPG Maker is already, like, from what I understand, you know, it's, like, an easy way for dev, it's, like, you know, it's a, basically an engine, I guess. But it's, like, an easy way, it's for people who know how to make games but don't really know everything, I think. And, or don't really have time to make a full game or something like that. Holy cow. Uh, so, RPG Maker is already, in itself, a game... Not a game, it's a program, whatever, for making games more easy. So, this dev took a program that made this game easier than making it alternative ways, I guess. And, you know, because you use their assets, basically, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how it works. But, basically, it's a game where you make your own games. Um, it's interesting, I guess. Workshop. Browse. Let's see. Can we find other people's games? Okay. I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, that dude's world. So we can check out people's world. Game of Bones. Let's go to Game of Bones. Uh, subscribe. There you go. Now, uh, there you go. So can we play at someone's world? Do we just go in here or something? These are my two worlds. I don't see Game of Bones in here. I I don't know that I'm gonna be able <laughs> to give this game a fair shake, uh, but it's not gonna be a great review right now. Not gonna be a great one. Agroth World is this the Game of Bones world. I've been here. You. Welcome. Hello, adventure. Welcome to the farming community of a growth world. I saw you came here. That strange pro. Uh, that's the first time I've seen anyone come here like that before. Perhaps I should give you a welcome gift to get you started. Here's a chest treasure in my house. Okay. That's it. Alright. So this is like a peaceful world, maybe? Well, quest. Welcome gift. Just a bunch of money, basically. Oh, great. Okay, now he's got more things to tell me. Good luck on your quest. Mm, adventure. Some folks down the hill may well have things that need to be for the likes of you. Okay. Down the hill, he says. 
Okay, this is a nice looking world. I hope nobody actually made this and put this much work into this. Cause, well, from what I understand, what we're seeing is it, something you would do in RPG Maker. So, uh, I don't know. Okay, then. Like, I, you would do this kind of thing. You would make this in RPG Maker, basically. But then they're making it so we can make it. I don't know. Let's just use RPG Maker. <laughs> I don't know if it works that easily, but hike. Yep. Got any grog for old drunken? Th okay. Uh, no. Well, uh, give me some apples so I can make some cider. Good old Granny Smith's Farms apples get me about ten. Okay. Can I just walk right in here? And jack a lady's apples. This is so fun. I'm literally dying of funness. Who? Who? Could you? Are you hungry? You got plenty of apples laying around on the floor. Okay. Tried to kill her. How are you, dude? I'm just farming my pumpkins. Nothing to do here. Off you go. Oops. Just drink my potion on accident. Here you go, buddy. Complete. We did it. Got anything for me to do? Oh, hello, I am a young and loved poet, thinking of my dearest. Though how you are here, though now you are here, could you help me? But this font's rough, I don't know why. But I have a poem for Juliet, but I am afraid to give it to her myself. Can you give it to her? It's inside the house. Give poem to Juliet in blue. She is tending the chickens, okay. Is in the house, okay. Why can't he do it? Just you mind my lovely chickens. Don't want them being startled and running all amok. I have your poem. Many thanks. That was a big help. Did you say anything for you to tell me, perhaps? No, not really. So I have to visit her one midsummer night. What lucky you came along. Thank you. Young love can now blossom like the trees in spring. What joy. Okay. <laughs> okay, just... Just to, like a break from the game for a second. Okay, so this game's <laughs> this game sucks. Um, I don't know. Uh, so just an open monologue here. If I was streaming this, obviously I wouldn't debate this. But right now, I'm like in the process of debating if I should even continue this. If I should just stop this video and delete this. Uh, I don't think I'm going to just because I don't have time to do two more. I need to do one more game and then I need to do Minecraft stuff. But like in my head, I'm like, I should just stop this and delete this. <laughs> but if I was streaming, it, obviously, you know, the point of New Game Wednesday is I stream the game and you get my live impression. It, and if it's bad, then you see that. Um, and it's bad. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I don't see like a point. I don't understand the point at all. I don't get it. I feel like it may it's supposed to be like a, almost an MMO feel, but but it's just not good. Uh, I you know I'm gonna quit. <laughs> uh, wait, hang on. Okay, let's let's see if we can join a multiplayer. Nope. What? Yeah. Yep. I don't know. I don't know what to th what to say about it. Um. Can we host the multiplayer? I mean, I'm gonna quit this as soon as it happens. So, gauntlet. Like, I'm so bored. Like, it's not in that. Like, I don't. I'm. I'm sure you guys are enjoying this if you're watching the, this far. Uh, it's just the point where I'm just having. I'm so bored. Like, I want. I need to quit. Like, with lots of these games, I'll be 
like when we played Grayman or Fumiko or yeah, like those, like I was bored, but I was like, I need to keep playing to review it. And you know, just for the sake of the, of the series, but I'm not having that dilemma here. I just want to, you know, quit. I don't want to play anymore. I mean, here we go. Woohoo. Wee. I mean, yay, I get to be hit by everybody in the world at once while I cannot swing a sword to save my life. Like, what, what am I doing? What am I achieving? I, I'm not really sure. Yeah, alright. Uh, that's enough of this. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, let's just get right down to it. Uh, review. Game, uh, 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 yep. All right. See you guys next time. <laughs> uh, this game is, is 15. I think I said 10 before. This is a $15 game on Steam. So, uh, I think this might be my least favorite game we've played. It looked kind of fun too. I thought I thought it did. I don't know what the point is. Let's see about this game. My world, where action RPG begins. My world is an action RPG adventure creator with built-in worlds. Oh, it's an RP. Okay, so this is meant to be an RPG adventure creator. So you're supposed to. The point of the game is yeah. Okay, we knew that already though. But it has built-in worlds, ready to be conquered and kickstart your imagination. Okay. Solid multiplayer means you can battle alongside or against friends and foes with PvP and co-op modes. Invite players into adventures you've created. Explore friends' worlds and share on the Steam Market or Steam Workshop. Uh, play. Bow your way through enemies and quests in our pre-made adventures, such as the Blight and Mushroom Realm. I'm reading their Steam description to see if I'm like missing the point here. Combat is rewarding. Learn enemy timings and use four special abilities to smash your. Uh, apart your foes. Most world objects are breakable. These worlds amongst others are showcases for what you can for what can be crafted in my world. We can't wait to play yours. Create with a powerful yet easy to use editor, you can create worlds in exactly the way you want to play. It boasts over two hundred items, including undead skeletons, cursed knights, haunted crypts, towering bosses, uh, homely taverns, friendly NPCs, and even a chicken. With a click of a button, you can change your world from a foggy blooded land to an enchanted mushroom kingdom. Using our nine world themes, this library is constantly growing, giving you real freedom and creativity for your action RPG adventures. No coding required, you can easily drop in enemies, buildings, bosses, and link your worlds to form huge realms. Tell stories and set quests. Hub world, community, and scene. Okay. Uh. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, graphics, I don't like it. It looks bad. It looks like it's trying to be like cart. I don't know. I don't know. It's bad. Uh, three out of ten. Uh, music. <laughs> I'm not even. Gonna, I don't even want to talk about my. <sighs> it's undetailed. It's got a a cute cell shading thing going on. Three out of ten is not really fair, I guess. Uh, it's not bad graphics, honestly. Um, it's not detailed in any way. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> um, I guess like the chickens, it, it's it does the job. It looks okay. They're definitely. I mean, they're not going for high resolution here. They're going for this cell shaded thing, obviously. Um, there's a little variability I guess oh guys I'm miserable with this game I ain't wanna review it uh, I'm gonna say the graphics are 6 out of 10 <laughs> like there's games that I've reviewed lower scores probably than this that I enjoyed more um, music there's basically no music uh, there's some ambient noise there's some music here and there 2 out of 10 it sucks uh Gameplay, combat super clunky. Building your world is super clunky. Uh, my problem with this is it's based around building your world. There's three creatures. You can put down a pig, a chicken, and there was something else I think you could put down. 
Why are there not more animals? There's a bajillion buildings. Put some animals in there. I don't need all those. Uh, there's nine terrain themes or something. Like that That's fine, I guess. There's like a mushroom and some trees. Uh, you can adjust the hills and stuff. And there's some uh, ready-to-go terrains you can drop to speed it up. I mean, if I took the time and watched the tutorials and messed around with it, I'm sure that you could create a world pretty fast. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure. It's, I'm sure that end of it's good. Uh, creating the world. The store is not compelling. It's not immediately. I mean, I don't know. I even in their worlds, like I don't feel. I don't know what the reward is. Like, is I don't know what rewards I'm getting from doing any of this stuff. Honestly, I can't understand. Like, I mean, I got armor. I, I don't understand. Like, what the point is. Um, it's just to make quests, I guess. It's, uh, it feels pointless. I guess all games are pointless in the end, but, uh, it feels pointless to me. I'm sorry if somebody likes this game and, and like, I'm pooping on it hard. Uh, what kind of reviews does this have on Steam? Um, 19 reviews, very positive recently. 62 positive reviews 80 percent positive overall uh it may i'm not giving it a fair shake a lot you know like usual it's hard to review a game thoroughly in an hour or so i guess but uh but this is my raw opinion of it you know unedited just like it would when when i do these live um this is my my raw opinion of it. if i was playing this on my own i would not have made it this far i would have quit so fast from this game um I don't know how people give these kind of games a chance. I really, I really can't. I think next time I get an RPG maker key, I'm gonna give it away or something. Probably. Uh, I need to start. I don't know. I have a long list of games to review. I need to start being more. Uh, I might start being more picky about which ones. <laughs> uh, the gameplay. As far as fighting, it's super clunky. You just randomly fall off hills. The locking on system doesn't work. Uh, the loading is absurd, kind of, in my opinion. Um, the game, the world design isn't great because of the limited animals. There's a bunch of, like, NPCs, I guess, but not very many. Uh, there's not very There's four enemies, four bots. Like, <laughs> it's a game about custom making a world with literally no variety in terms of npcs and that's what you're going to look for you're going to look for np the first thing i notice isn't i mean i know i don't know i notice the terrain I, I guess the first thing i look for is like creatures like stuff like that that's what makes the game fun and the combat's not fun i'm gonna give the gameplay a two out of ten as well i really do not like this game I hope that's clear. Uh, graphics, 6 out of 10. Music, 2 out of 10. Gameplay, 2 out of 10. I don't like this game at all. I'm sad that it's got getting a higher review uh, than it should. It's a 3.3 .3 out of 10. I guess I'll round that up to 3.5. I don't really want to. But whatever. It's, got, it, it's cute looking. Maybe it'll be, I mean, it's in early access still, so benefit of the doubt there. $15, I would not buy this game. Uh, if I'm missing the point of this game, if, like, a dev is watching or uh, somebody got triggered by the score and skipped to the end and wants to know why, I, don't, I just don't know that I get the point. Maybe I don't get the point of this game. <laughs> Maybe that's my problem. Or anybody watching, if you're watching and, and you think I, I missed the point, let me know. I mean, I'm open to trying it out again. I mean, I'm going to uninstall it instantly uh, i would remove it my from my steam account if i could figure out how to do that uh would not recommend at all it's really not fun um uh the next game we're playing next week is by virag tp uh which we've played a couple of his games we played plantera uh tap heroes and uh superhero dx or something like that uh, those games were all fun not great, but they're fun. So it would be nice to go back to one of his games and see uh, basically if it's the same as all his other games. <laughs> but uh, it will be more enjoyable than this, even though it's going to be a point-and-click kind of thing. Uh, this game's not good, though. 
I don't like it. Let me know what you guys think. As usual, put your score out of 10 in the comments below. What do you think of graphics, uh, gameplay, music, whatever? If you just couldn't make it to this point, uh, I don't blame you. I just barely made it. Yeah, I feel sad about this. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next New Game Wednesday. Bye-bye.